Hi, it's Nigel here from Kelp Guitars down in South Wales. Uh, we hand make custom guitars. Uh, everything here really is uh, is made in Wales. Uh, even the pickups on this one uh, were made in Wales. These are Radio Shop pickups. They're jazz bass pickups. Uh, they're covered at the moment in Buckeye Bull to match the rest of the guitar. Um, we made all sorts of guitars over the last couple of years and I thought I'd try and do something a little bit different. So for the next project I've decided to make a Welsh Cruth. Now that's something, it's an instrument that dates back to five or six hundred years ago and it's almost like a lyre but it's played with a bow and I've never made one before it's uh, uniquely Welsh, although there are other variants uh, from other parts of the sort of Celtic nations. But I thought I'd give it a go, and I found a nice piece of mahogany. It's uh, from an old Welsh chapel bench or pew, and I thought I'd use that. Um, and to be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's going to be a learning, steep le learning curve for me because I'm going to be working from some hand-drawn plans that I managed to download off the internet but apart from that uh, as for scale length etc that's something I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit more research on before I get to that uh, crucial uh, stringing part of uh, of the instrument build uh, it should be interesting uh, if you'd like to um, I've selected a bit of mahogany that I'm gonna use it came from a Welsh chapel it's a pew and I thought it was appropriate for a Welsh instrument. Uh, I've never made one of these before. I've got no idea what I'm going to do. Um, I've got some plans. Uh, they're downloaded from the internet. And I've roughed out some of the uh, main areas onto the mahogany so that I can begin to cut the thing. Uh, there's a bit of carving involved. There's going to be a lot of drilling, a lot of routing work. Uh, it's it's actually a hollow body I've discovered uh, with a, a unique soundboard. So uh, that's going to be quite an interesting twist to this. Um, so let's take a look. So this is the piece of mahogany. It's roughly just over 200 mil wide by just under 600 mil long. Uh, I've marked out the main areas on the mahogany. You can see it looks a bit rough at the moment, but uh, it'll look a lot better once it started uh, being cut and formed. Uh, and the whole of this section here is going to have to be hollowed out. I'm going to use a bit of sycamore as a thin top for it. There are going to be two holes drilled, which are going to be the sound holes uh, and the bridge. Is unique in that it uh, it's sort of dog-legged one part of the bridge goes straight through the body through the sound hole and makes contact with the back so uh, not only does it pick up the vibrations from the front of the instrument but also from the back as well so that's new to me um, keep watching and hopefully over the next couple of weeks we'll see the rest of the build of this Welsh Cruth down here at Kelk Guitars in South Wales.